Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Pops Reactions Tech. Today I have here with me the Galaxy A02 and I'm going to show you guys how to bypass FRP lock on this device. Alright, now this actually worked for me on Android 10. I had to download from Android, downgrade, sorry, from Android 11 to Android 10. So be sure to downgrade to it. As you could see, I have on Odin here earlier that I downgraded to Android 10. So I will have the link to the firmware in the description. So you download that firmware and you install it with Odin. So basically, power off your device, put into download mode by pressing uh, the volume up and volume down buttons and then connect the USB cable. Once you've done so, you open up Odin, you load up the firmware and then you click start. Now I should have a video on how to use Odin. It's quite an old video, but I would um, also link this in the description. So just keep that in mind. If you're on Android 11, this may not work for you. You would have to downgrade to Android 10. As you can see, I am unable to get into the device. It requires me to connect to Wi-Fi because I would have to, of course, sign into the Google account, which I have forgotten. So, um, as you could see, if I go here and connect to the Wi-Fi. So as you can see here, your, your phone was factory set up and so your pin to unlock it. Now I cannot remember my pin. I cannot remember my Google account. So this is the reason why you're here. Okay. Now let's go back. And, um, once you're back here on the main screen, I will, um, show you guys the requirements. So you need to install the Samsung USB drivers for mobile phones. The link to that would be in the description. It's a very simple process. And you would also need the FRP bypass tool. Link would be in the description. All right. Now you also need your cable. I have it connected already. A very good quality cable. This one came with my phone. So um, if you have this cable, then you shouldn't have any issues. So now we're going to open up the tool. All right. And of course, all credits go to GSM Edge for this tool right here. So I will link the channel in the description as well. All right, so we start off by opening the FYF file. All right, now we're going to connect the phone. As you can see, I have it connected. All right. Um, all right, so once the device is connected and it's detected by the program, you can see that it's on COM4 here. So now we are going to click run. All right, and um, instruction here on screen. This is what we're going to type on our dialer. So here, um, you're going to type, tap on emergency call, star, number sign, zero, star, number sign. Once you're on this screen, you are going to click OK on your PC. Alright, and allow USB debugging then press enter once you're done so once you've allowed usb debugging you're going to now press enter on your keyboard and we are going now to step two let me put the device over here hopefully it stays so we are now going to step two and step two adb i'm going to open this file um i normally run adb as um, administrator so yes and remove frp lock all right so it says waiting for devices connected it may or may not restart the phone but if it doesn't then you'd restart it yourself um, but as you can see, I believe it actually did restart the phone. So if this, this happens, then perfect. If it didn't, and you see all done up here, and your device is still on, then you just have to reboot it yourself. So um, now you could go ahead and disconnect the USB cable. 
um, we would no longer be needing our PC for the remainder of the video. Right, so here's what happens when you unlock the phone. Do not panic after this. Um, here's what's going to happen. Alright, so this is what is going to happen once you've unlocked your phone. What we are going to do now is reboot. Alright, so restart. Alright, let's try again and it should be doing the same um, glitch so let's just wait for this all right um, so what I'm doing right now is basically playing around with it a bit now we're going to try heading over to settings Once the glitch has stopped, you would see that you're on your home screen. Um, but now what we want to do is head over to settings on the device. And um, from there, head over to general management and reset. Then factory data reset. From there, the device will reboot and reset to factory settings. Alright guys, so we are now on the setup and I'm just going to skip through it. Let me just show you that we've actually bypassed FRP. And we're all done. Alright guys, so we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit thumbs up. If you like the video, if it helped you share it with others and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Uh, reach out to me in the comments with any questions or concerns. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.